Hi guys, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a very, very long time and the last video that I pretty sure came up on this was like a pre-filmed video about me traveling. So I'm assuming that you guys know exactly where I've been, but if you don't, then I have recently just come back from Japan and Korea. I did about three and a half weeks, almost a month um, there and I did the first week with a friend and then um, the last two and a half weeks solo which was an amazing experience. I did film a lot, so hopefully if I can find all that footage, um, I'm definitely going to be having a vlog coming up, so keep an eye out for that. But today, I'm actually going to be sharing with you guys the things that I bought in Korea and Japan. Now, depending on how long or how much I have here, I might split this into two videos, uh, one being makeup and one being skincare, because I actually went nuts. I... I don't know, I got sucked in really bad and I bought everything and anything that I could buy and I ended up carrying it all home, which was definitely a challenge. It was definitely a challenge to like bring everything back, but I did it, I managed it, and here are the things. I didn't really think about the best way to do this, so now I'm sitting here like, hmm, what to do, what to do? <laughs> so... When I went to buy these things, I actually did a lot of research into what products people loved the most, what products, you know, worked really well for them, and the different brands that Korea has to offer is insane. Pretty sure I went to all the major brands that Korea has, um, so I'm going to start off with the different brands and the different makeup products they have. Okay, first up I have is Clio, and this is the only brand where I only really just bought makeup. I did go in there purely because of the Kill Cover Pro Artist Liquid Concealer. So this is the concealer that everybody raves about and I've actually used it and I love it. I at the moment use the Maybelline one I'm pretty sure and this one here has amazing coverage. It I was getting like really bad spots when I was in Korea and this just did wonders but it also didn't look really cakey and that's why I never really use concealer on spots or under my eyes. Um, as you can tell right now, my eyes are puffy. Um, because I don't like that really weird, like, cakey look to it. But I got this one, I think this is number three, so it's in, like, the natural colour. And then the pack that I got also had the Pro Artist Pencil Brightener, which is, like, a pencil highlighter as well as the Pro Pencil Concealer. So these two I haven't really used. Um, but I'm assuming that they're just, like, pencil versions of, you know, the usual concealer and the usual highlighter there and you get a sharpener with it as well um so i haven't used these yet but this thing is absolutely amazing then i went around and i sort of like looked at the different i guess lip products that they had because i felt weird just going in there and buying one product but the one that i actually wore last night when i went out it's a really really nice color so it comes in this thing i don't know why i still have boxes so this here is the mad matte Clio lipstick. So this one comes in a matte colour and this is the colour that you're looking at here. There we go. I'll swatch it for you guys. But that, I don't know if you guys can see that but this colour is amazing and I wore this last night. It's like a really dark red and I find that a lot of times I can't really wear a lot of reds because my skin tone is so yellow that some reds just look orange on me and I don't really like it. This is really smooth. It's matte, but it doesn't feel really like heavy on my lips. I didn't realize that it was there, and I was eating a lot as well, and I felt like I needed to touch up, but when I looked at it, it was still there. So I really like this, and if I had the chance, I would go back and get the different colors. This color is Sensual Pepper, number six. And then we have something called the Lip lip Nacure, I think that's what it's called. Um, and this is a Virgin Kiss Lip Nacure, so number one in the Jealousy color. And it is like almost like a tint. Um, but I got it in like a pink. I feel I feel like I've used this colour or tried this colour out when I was over there. It's like a really nice pink shade. Yeah, that one there. So that's the colour there. It is quite bright, but once you put it on your lips and then you like sort of like, you know, put your lips together and spread it out, it isn't too, too bright. And the last one that I got from Clio is... This one's another lipstick as well. I don't really use a lot of lipsticks, but this is a lip syrup. And this is the number 7 in Dry Rose. I really like this packaging. I feel like it's very, I don't know, like classy. Almost like the Lancome style. And that's what the lip product looks like there. I don't think I've actually tried this out. This is more of like a satin finish. And it's a really nice sort of like 
color like a dry like a rose color as they call it so i'm really excited to use actually to wear this because i feel like it's a really got to be a really good everyday color to wear and then to make up sort of like the limit that i could have for tax return i picked up two different lip balms and these ones are great because they're called the butter pang lip glass um sorry lip balms what it really is is so it's like a normal lip balm when you put on your lips it changes the color of your lips to you know i guess like like it adjusts to your lip um and it comes out with like a really pink color so that's what i have on my lip at the moment um and it's sort of supposed to be really natural you can't really tell and i really like it. it's also quite moisturizing as well and this one is a number one cream butler clear definitely has really good um lip products i reckon i would probably go back and try out the different colors that they have and things like that but i didn't want to go crazy um just in case i didn't like the colors or i didn't like the formula of them next up we have is 3ce and these guys are part of style nanda and style nanda is an amazing store i went to the myeongdong one over there and it was a five level i guess like a store but it was built like a hotel so it was like you know the lobby area and things like that and it's like a cafe at the top this place is great <laughs> like i loved it so what i got was two brow products one being the coloring brow and pencil mascara and the other one being just the normal eye slim eyebrow pencil both in the this one's in the gray brown which is like a dark brown and this one is the chestnut brown i didn't i don't really like to go too dark so like black so i usually go for a dark brown even though my hair is very dark i've tried both of these products out as well so this one here is the pencil and the mascara and now the pencil itself is a thick one so it's like a thick nib there and the mascara itself looks like that oh my god focus focus i don't know how beauty vloggers do this because mine is well. there we go so the mascara itself looks like that try the mascara i don't know if i know how to properly use it um don't know if i really like it but it does keep my brows in shape um this one i really didn't mind as well um and i like the color payoff of it as well but i do think i prefer the slim brow pencil only because i like the control that i have so one of my favorite brow pencils is the anastasia beverly hills brow is and i like it because of how slim the actual nib is there and that it has this spoolie at the back there as well um so i like that because it gives me control the coloring itself is also quite close to dark brown which is what i really like and that's what i've drawn my brows in with today more of a natural look usually i just use the dip brow pomade that anastasia beverly hills has but today i'm being lazy and i'm not wearing makeup so this is what i've used definitely would recommend these products actually if you like brows you like more of a natural look because korea is really about like that really natural full straight look and then we have eyelash curler so from what i read apparently 3c's eyelash curlers are really great now don't really know how i feel about this i used this once and then i went back to my old one because i felt like it was too big for my lashes like i didn't feel my lashes being curled or anything like i felt like this padding bit was just too thick but I might give it another try. Also got two different lip products. So this one is, what is it? It's a velvet cream lip pencil and uh, lip and pencil. So what it is is two, do you see the two colours? One side is like a lip pencil almost, and it's like in a darker colour. And at the bottom you have like a matte lip. I have hashtag heart on um, hashtag heart, that's what it's called. Um and they've got like so many different colours, but I got this one because I felt like it would be a lot wearable for me i have tried it out but i haven't worn it for a full day yet because as soon as i put it on i'm like mm, this isn't the right color i've come back to melbourne and it's winter um and over there they like to use a lot of peaches and pinks and stuff and i feel like in winter here you can't really rock those colors i prefer darker colors in the winter but the formula itself is actually really good and they've got so many different ranges you can buy like or seven i think and you get 14 colors like that's pretty good right and then i picked up the 3c mood recipe color lip kit 3CE is really famous for their lipsticks um i know lily maymac one of the biggest instagram people had a collaboration with these guys so they're pretty well known and this mood recipe lip color kit i picked up because i saw Rayleigh use it on one of her videos and she had all of these different colors i'm pretty sure and i really like them because they're all like really good nudes and really wintry colors I haven't tried these out yet maybe i'll swatch them to show you guys yeah, look 
Look at them. They are so cute. I actually really like it. I think I would probably wear these two probably the most. Maybe this one might be too dark for me, but I do really like that color as well. Very nice. And I like that they're so cute and so compact. <laughs> so that there is the... 3CE Mood Lip Colour Kit. It also felt really smooth when I was putting it on, which is really good. Then I got, lastly from 3CE, this marble highlighter, which I have been wanting forever. And Sephora in Australia did stock them, and then they sold out, and I don't think they ever bought them back. This is, like, a really nice marble highlighter. Like, that's what the marble highlighter looks like there. It's so nice, and, like, used it before. It's, like, a really, really, really... Like, I don't know how to explain the shimmer on there. It's so nice, and I really love the packaging of this, so that's something else that I got from 3C. Moving on, and this is probably one of my favourite brands that I bought stuff from in Korea. They're called Too Cool For School. I love the name. Um, I bought a I bought a mix of skincare and makeup from them, but I'll show you guys the makeup first. So I went in there purely just to find these two, and they're what they're called the Art Class by Rodin. This is the contour palette, and this is the highlighter palette. I love highlight. And everything to do with it so i went in purely just to see this one and i'll show you guys what it looks like that's what it looks like there so that's what the two school for school looks like and then you got a really nice mirror it's so pretty you get like three different shades um oh, let me see if i can swatch it for you guys i feel like it's too faint to see on camera Anyways, I really like it <laughs> and I think it works really well and I also really, really think the packaging is really cute. So the contour palette looks very, very similar. Again, it's all sort of in this shade here. So that's what the palette looks like there. It's got some really nice colours. I probably would only use um, these two, to be honest, because I feel like the, that this colour is a bit too dark for me unless I use it on the hairline or something like that. And then I got a free brush from them, so like a free contour brush, which I haven't really used, as well as this Highline Eyeliner. Uh, so this one here is part of their Dino range, so that's why the packaging looks like this, um, which I think is really cute. So there's so much more that they have in this range, but I don't really wear a lot of foundation or anything like that as well, so I didn't really pick up any of the um, cushions. That's what the eyeliner looks like there. I haven't opened it up yet, so I can't show you, but there's like a cap, then there's a smudge stick inside, as well as the pencil, and at the bottom, I think you get a sharpener or something like that. Something like that, I think you get only one, and this is the colour Black Rock, so I did get a really dark colour. And then I got a lipstick as well, so I was really intrigued by this one, um, purely because I really liked the formula of it. I got number four Vamp Cheek in the Glam Rock series so they've got so many different series and that's what the packaging looks like um and this is the color like look at that red this is like a classic red color so now i don't know if i'm i'm not too sure how i feel about wearing this because like i said i don't really wear a lot of reds but yeah i feel like it comes out as a really really wearable red so it's not like a really orange red is what i see but like a more of a pink red and that's what i prefer more and then i got like a free sample lip balm so Korea is all about I guess samples and things like that so all the stuff that I bought I got so many samples from and I've actually most of them I've actually given away as gifts because I feel like I don't really need it this video is gonna take forever this is just the makeup side <laughs> next up we have Etude House and Korea is known for Etude I'm pretty sure everybody knows about Etude House picked up a lot of stuff from there because I did a lot of research looked into it um, knows that a lot people really love their products. First up is one of my favorite things I bought from Korea. So I have test tried a lot of these when I was over there, and this is by far one of my favorite things. So this is the Dr. Mascara uh, Fixer, and this is the Long Lash Up Curl Fix Coating Fix by um, the Tude House. What this is is like an eyelash primer, but for me, it feels like a way to glue my eyelashes up so it curls up and stands up straight. I have found a game changer so there's two types there's one that's volume and there's one that's long lash up this is the one that creates a long lash for you and keeps it there and then you put your mascara on and then it just stays absolutely amazing product i love it so much i feel like i would go back and buy like so many of these because this is amazing i have asian lashes that don't stay at all this game changer absolute game changer so this is what that is and then i have again with eyelashes i have this is something that I was really skeptical about, and then I was like to the salesperson, are you sure this is going to work? Are you sure? And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So this is the Dr. Lash Ample. Um, it's like a serum that makes your lashes grow and gives it volume. So it's like a four-week period and then you try it out for the four weeks um, night and day and then your lashes should grow. They also give you like a measuring thing but I don't really use it. So in the box you get the um, Ample. So this is the one that will make your lashes grow. And then you also get a like a gift I guess and this is the serum and the serum here is like an eye cream where you put around your eyes to create volume and to sort of make it thicker so you use this day and night and you use this in the night time like a mascara where you just put it on your lashes and I've been using it for the past two days so I can't really tell you guys whether I see any results or anything like that at all um, but it is very intriguing and I've been trying to find something like this for a while now and it is quite cheap it's like 20 maybe 12 to 20 dollars so you know compared to other serums and lashes and things like that like it's pretty good like i've always wanted to get eyelash extensions but this might be the next best thing <laughs> i also end up picking up the big con big cover concealer tip so i've heard a lot about this one as well i don't think i love it as much as the clear one that i picked up but i still think that it does the job i know that i picked this up because i've heard reviews from other bloggers or beauty bloggers and things like that and they have really liked this so I that's why I picked that one up and then we go into the lip products so the lip product that I really loved from them is called the lip rich vivid tint such an amazing coverage and they last so long and I just love the colors the color here is a peach color and this one here is a good almost like red pretty much like a red I'm not gonna lie they smell really nice as well actually all of the things that I got from your Tudor house were tints these are the Dear Darling tints and these are really famous from um, Etude House. So this one is being number 303, number RD303, PK003. And then this one is more of like a mauve colour, I guess. And this one is like a red again. And then I also picked up the Milk tint. And then I got one in like an orange and one in the Milky Red. Actually, these are... I like these are too cool for school. <laughs> Oh my god, this is what happens when you buy too many things and then you don't remember. So this is actually too cool for school. We're good. Alright, moving on. They're not a shoot house. They're too cool for school. Then the last um, brands that I really went to buy stuff, I actually bought a lot of skincare as opposed to makeup. So um, really this is just the hubbub of things. At Laneige, I got the ultra long lasting eyeliner in number one black. And I got this from my mum, I think, because she really wanted um, an eyeliner. So I haven't tried that one out either. I also picked it up. Tony Molly, um, the Pikachu color mascara, and this one is in number three, the black one. And I love this mascara, I've already have it, so I just picked up a um, what's it called a backup. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just giving up getting this to focus. So this is a great mascara, it gives you length and separates your lashes and just makes it look long. So that's what I picked up as well. Um, also grabbed Innisfree, and this is. By far one of the best products I ever bought on this trip as well. It is called the No Sebum um, Blur Primer. You can tell it's already dirty because I've been using it. It's a primer. Gives it such a smooth canvas but doesn't give it that really silicon feeling that I feel like um, Benefits Professional does. And it doesn't feel thick or anything like that as well. And it just sits well on my skin. So I have really sensitive skin and sometimes it just doesn't work out. It's very similar to the Hourglass I feel like but it just does work. It works a lot better. And it doesn't... Um, clog up my pores or anything so I really really liked this one also picked up the Innisfree waterproof micro cara so this is a skinny version that look how tiny that is so I've only used it once to see how it would lengthen my lashes as well as my bottom lashes but I think I'll try again hopefully it works out I picked up the waterproof soft pencil eyeliner from Misha again eyeliner Again, I'm pretty sure for my mum because I don't really wear a lot of eyeliner. As well as Skin Food Sugar Stick Cheek. And this one here is like a blush, but when she swatched it for me, it came out with like a lot of shimmer or like a shine. So I think I'm going to use this as a highlighter instead. And then I picked up two things from A-Land and this is under the brand Hamish. So Hamish is a really, really good brand actually. So I picked up two lipsticks. The first one being the midday sun and then the, this one in here is called all night and this is in the serum rouge one so these guys are satin finishes they do a matte and a satin finish but i really like the packaging on them they're really high quality and they have like a i don't know if you could hear that but it's like a magnetic tip to them i really like the formula of them i've worn them they don't they aren't as long lasting as i hope that i am um, they would be because of the fact that they're satin 
but look at these colors would go back to get more colors because i really 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 like them oh boy i really hope that i can edit all of this and that it isn't a super long video but that's everything that is everything that I will show you guys for today. Yeah, if you have used any of these products or if you have any recommendations, leave a link down below for me. Let me know, you know, what you thought. If you've been to Japan or Korea and things like that, stay tuned for my skincare because there is a lot of skincare that I bought as well. I don't, um, but I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys soon. Bye!